Hey friends and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Confessions of a Paper Addict design team and I'll be using the circle frame cut file from the June release. It's that gorgeous cut file you see there and I'm going to be documenting two pictures from our trip to Disney last year in June 2019. We, that day we, the day that I'm scrapbooking right now is um, our last day at Animal Kingdom and I really wanted to use that heart paper because it was so colorful and for some reason I wanted to use that sort of like taupe gingham paper because it I felt like it went well with some of the neutral hearts that are in um, that patterned paper. You'll see me that I rummage around my papers a lot because I'm trying to like see I don't want to I don't want the grid paper to be too close like side by side with the heart paper. So I go I look for cardstock but it's not the right color that I want to use. As I'm looking for cardstock I'm like hmm I think I, I'm gonna use some punches. The only punch that I use is that scallop punch you see there. The other ones, I don't use them at all. Because the dimension, like the, the proportions of the leaves and flowers on the cut file versus the ones that the punches had, it was just going to be too weird. So it, it doesn't work out. So I end up using a white a white, a pink cardstock to cut, um, to punch out with my scallop punch and then I decide to trim my cut file sort of like three quarters of the way in, first not three quarters, one quarter of the way in so it's not a true half circle on each side I, because I wanted to sort of layer them not on top of each other but you'll see in the overall design what I mean. So I go ahead and trim down a three and a half inch by 12 piece of patterned pa of that hard patterned paper distress it with my distress tool actually it's not a true um, 12 three and a half by 12 it's actually sm smaller um, I think it's like eight 11 and a half by three and a half somewhere around there. So that's how it's going to go. You see I'm going to layer um, the circles, well the half circles, um, like that. And you'll see, you see that I just added the border to create that distinct distinction between um, the heart paper and the grid paper. I trim my pictures down a bit they used to be three by four um, both of them but they end up being like three by three and a half I go ahead and mat them on some white cardstock trim off the excess and that's the the overall design of my paper but but wait there's more so I didn't want to leave my cut file like white so I had a mixed media. So I chose colors that were in the heart paper. And I just go to town painting my cut file. Yes, I even add blue. I have so basically the I go crazy with the colors. And yeah, this part is really sped up because I didn't want to like make this process video too long. Um, I'm trying to keep my process videos under the 15 minute mark just because I know that we are all busy and we love to watch process videos but at least I speak, speak for, for myself um, I don't usually have 15 minute blocks hidden here and there so trying to keep in mind yeah to um, make them versatile, you know, I'll, not versatile, but varied. 
some will be 15 minutes, some will be 7, some will be 8, some around there. So a little bit of here and there. Anyhow, so as you can see, I'm just painting them as I would do with watercolor, but I'm using shimmers because I love shimmers. So I love Disney. I do. And um, if you're wondering why it took me a whole year to get started on documenting my Disney layout, well, the truth of the matter is I already sort of documented these pictures before, um, but they are in mini, uh, in <laughs> actually they're divided into three mini albums. Um, but I went over my mini albums and I looked over the other pictures that I had still stored um, on my computer and noticed that I wanted to create 12 by 12 layouts of certain stories because in a mini album you can sort of get the story of oh this is a Disney trip but for me you can get like a more detailed story in a 12 by 12 layout because there are so many so many different ways of documenting like adding in your journaling um, I don't know if it makes sense it makes sense in my way so yeah um, that's why I, you'll see that throughout the summer I've already like I have planned for the summer um, to try and document more of those in-depth very detailed stories and the story behind this day was that this was our second to the last day of our trip and it was like the second day of my son's clicking. What I mean by clicking is that like we had a six day trip. The first three days was weird for them. It was like we are somewhere different than we're not at church, we're not at the park, we're not at grandpa and grandma's house. We're not at our aunt and uncle's house. We're not at our house. We're not at Walmart or, you know, their typical day, um, places or the supermarket. But um, this is new. We got on a plane and this is new. Wait, there's a lot more people. We're seeing a lot more people than we're used to. Um, we have lots of music. We have lots of... so. Those three first three days were overwhelming for them, very tiring, and they were cranky most of the time. Not that we, we didn't get, you know, really good memories those three, three days, because we did. But I kid around that it was after they got on It's a Small World that they, like, clicked that, oh, we're at Disney. Because... Um, the, right in the middle of our Disney trip, we went for the second time to Magic Kingdom and towards the end, like after we had dinner, we went on It's a Small World and our kid came out different from that, <laughs> from that ride. Um, and like after that, we still had like two or three more days to enjoy the park and they really enjoyed the parks after that moment so before i continue my storytelling here i'm creating like an, a little mixed media nest beneath where my cut file is going to be i splattered a lot of white acrylic paint some bumbly bee which is a yellow shimmers and then i go ahead and start playing with how I'm going to be placing my pictures. Um, I add some craft foam beneath them and I add some embellishments as well around them. But I don't add a lot of embellishments because I don't want to like hide my cut file. So back to the storytelling. Um, so after It's a Small World, we went back to Animal Kingdom. I think it was the next day. 
and they had a blast. Now, it was overwhelming for them at like the first half of the trip, but it was also a learning experience for us because it was the first time my husband and I had gone with kids. The previous time we had gone to Disney was on our honeymoon, and it's very different to go with a family member or in a family trip to going on a honeymoon trip to going with your own kids to Disney. It's very, it's three different, very different experiences. S we make a, a lot of memories either way, but we also discovered that our kids really wanted to explore the park and yeah, that second time we went to Animal Kingdom, um, we let them explore a lot and they were all the happier for it. We were the happier for it because they were giggling, they were enjoying themselves and where we took, where these two pictures were taken was in front of the floating um, rocks or floating mountains over at the Pandora side um, where the Avatar ride is and you can't really tell um, on the video but you can see that Danny is like stretching out his arm and he's really enjoying himself um, Benji is like feed me because <laughs> He, he likes to eat and he really enjoyed eating off of my stuff um, from the Disney dining plan. But yeah. So anyways, I am adding my embellishments here and there trying to, you know, play with the colors and how they are uh, and play with how the embellishments are placed. And as I mentioned in a previous, yeah, I think it was a Confessions of a Paper Addict process video also. What I love about documenting our trips is as I'm making the layout, I'm really reliving our day there. And doing this has made me like doing these layouts has made me miss going back to Disney because I'm a major Disney fan. Um, I'm the go-to person in our family. Like, hey, how would you plan our day a day at Magic Kingdom? Wait, give me thirty minutes and I'll bring you a spreadsheet. I'll, um, <laughs> I'll like give you suggestions on fast passes on dining experiences, I'm that person. I'm that person that will randomly spew out um, little tidbits. Hey, did you know you could do this? Hey, did you know that such and such? I'm that person. I'm that Disney person. And I just love going to Disney. So anywho, here's the finished layout. I do apologize. I really talk a lot and you know, I love really, I love telling people, you know, just storytelling. I do. I love it a lot. But anyways, I'll see you back soon, guys, with another process video and have a great day.